We making protein cinnamon raisin french toast for breakfast. This is what you're gonna need, cutie. First, for the toppings, I got some low cow syrup. This is the Steve's Maples from Walmart. Eight grams of raisins. This is from a mini box of raisins. I've got a third cup of egg whites. One and a half teaspoons of a brown sugar blend like Splenda or Truvia. This one is Splenda. I have 11 grams of some protein powder. This one is Maple Cookie from Huddled HTLT Subs. Best tasting protein powder. And I love Maple Cookie in like French toast and stuff. Code Nicole will save you 15% now. Used to be 10, now it's 15. Links down below, check it out bud. One large egg one teaspoon of vanilla, and two slices of cinnamon raisin bread. I'm using the sun-made raisin bread, and it's because it's 180 cows for two slices. So I've got my pan preheated, got some cooking spray. It's on medium high. I'm going to put in my egg whites, vanilla, the protein powder, most of this true uh, Splenda blend, brown sugar blend, I'm gonna save a little bit to sprinkle on the top, so I'll leave some of that. And now I'm just gonna whip this up. The protein powder does make it slightly thick, so that's normal. And then I will soak my bread up in here. And the friends, you are not even gonna believe this full day of eating. I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for nine years, and it's because I make quick and easy, high volume meals that are super tasty. You're not even gonna believe how much I get to eat from my cows today. You're gonna love it, buddy. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to just soak the bread in. So what I like to do is I do a little spahoo with the one, and then I put the other one in and give that a dunkaroonie. And then I kind of just let it sit and I keep doing the same process until the pan's ready. And then whatever doesn't get soaked up, I'll just put on top because it will sink in as it cooks. I'm gonna put the one in, give this one another dunk, and put that one in there. And then I'm going to put the rest of the batter or the egg mixture, whatever you wanna call it, on top. And it will soak in as it cooks. Oh yeah, buddy. All right, these are done. About three minutes per side. Woohoo! Let's plate these up. They do get thick as they cook. They puff up a bit. Look how cute those are, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna top it, but I also have a piece of turkey bacon, and I'll show you that. This is the my favorite. It's the Applewood smoked butterball turkey bacon, and this is from Walmart. So I'm having a slice of that. Let's put our raisins on the top because I love raisins, so we gotta have some extra. I'm going to put the syrup on top. With this, like I can have up to four. I'm gonna put just a couple to start. That looks so cute. We'll leave it at that for now and I'll top it with the brown sugar. And then I just kinda, if I want more when I'm eating it, I just give myself more. That is the, to the French toast plus the turkey bacon plus one cup of fresh fruit. And I've got half a cup of cantaloupe and half a cup of straws. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Plus, I already had a bottle of water. I'm also gonna have a large black coffee and another bottle of water. Cal's for this entire thing, including the calories from the coffee, 485 cal's! Whoa! whoa. And this is, this is gonna fuel my lovely cardio because I'm gonna go do a lovely walk outside after this and... Whoa! Oh. <sighs> yes. Okay, let's get some thumbnail action, sweetie. All right, let's do a case test a Rooney. There. Okay, got some raisins, got some syrup. Mmm. Mmm. I was craving cinnamon raisin French toast. Well, cinnamon raisin bread. So I was like, well, let's add some protein to it, kick it up a notch, bud. That was great. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this do my cardio, and I'll meet you back here for lunch, buddy.
Whoa. We're building muscle, guys. We're building muscle. <laughs> Look at my lunch. Whoa. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm back from cardio and I was craving like a snack plate for lunch, like basically just a bunch of stuff that I could eat. So this is what I came up with and I'll tell you all the things here. I've got, I was craving lemon. So I bought a lemon fiber one box and I'm having one of the lemon fiber one bars. I also wanted cheese and crackers and pepperoni. So I'm having a lean turkey pepperoni. This is the Grimm's from Costco. These are like Sassy and I's favorite because they don't taste like turkey. I'm having two of the Laughing Cow cheese, the smoked cheese flavor, and they're 25 cows per little wedge. The Breton Bites, original Breton Bites, and I'm having 13 crackers. I'm having a yogurt. I was craving flavored yogurt. I don't have it much because it can be a lot of like calories and sugar and stuff, but this one's eight grams of protein and only two grams of sugar. It's the, Dan how do you say that? Danone, too good. Danon, Danon, whatever. It's the vanilla one. And I'm having one of those. And it's 60 cals for one container. Then I also wanted veg and dip, so I'm having half a cup of cucumber spears, two ounces of baby carrots, and two heaping tablespoons of this light ranch, the Marzetti veggie dip. I'm also, I just had a bottle of water and I'm having one more. For all of this, the friends, 389 calories. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? And like, I'm making this video because like, I had so many cravings this week. It's normal like when you're eating in a calorie deficit to have cravings, but also it's my period's coming, so it's extra normal. So it's not cheat day yet. It's still a few weeks away. How do I keep the weight off for as long as I have is I give myself my cravings in a low cal version most of the time or sometimes the regular. So I was like, okay, let me come up with a bunch of really quick, easy meals that are also low cal, high volume that are gonna fill me up, but also satisfy all my cravings. And so that's what this whole day is. It's dedicated to my cravings in a low cal, high volume way. And that's exactly why I'm able to maintain my weight loss because of that. It's not about like torturing yourself. You're allowed to love what you're doing. You're allowed to satisfy your cravings. Anytime that I deny myself, it backfires. So by doing this kind of stuff, that's how I can stay on track. And that's why it's important for me to show you guys like my full days of eating and stuff, because this is like how a real person in the real world maintains weight loss. If you guys love low cal, tasty, like high volume recipes, then you can buy my cookbook. It's called The Guilt-Free Cookbook. It's an ebook. Link is down below. Code Nicole will save you 10%. It's low-cal versions of all your favorite foods. I have a low-cal Big Mac, pizza, protein ice creams, cupcakes, cheesecake, a ton of high volume, tasty, low cal recipes that help me satisfy all my cravings. So check it out. Link's down there if I didn't say it already. Now, let's enjoy this. I'm gonna have a little dipper rooney and I will get ready and see you at dinner, sweetheart. I was craving tacos and pizza, so I'm making an experimental taco pizza dinner. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, I'm making two servings, like one for me and one for Kyle, so that's why everything is gonna be like double. I've got three tablespoons of light cream cheese, a third cup of fat-free sour cream, three heaping tablespoons of salsa, and I'm just going to mix this all up, and this is going to be like the pizza sauce, but this is like a taco version. So I'm gonna mix this all up, and then I'll spread it on my mini pizzas, which I'm using whole wheat English muffins. Okay, so that's looking great. It's pretty well combined. It's a bit lumpy, but I'm not worried because I'm gonna air fry these, and so when the cream cheese like gets cooked, it's gonna melt and become really cute in there. So I'm basically just gonna put, <clears throat> divide it between my four 
pieces is going to be two for me and two for Sassy. And these are whole wheat English muffins. It's 110 cals a muffin. They're Dempsters. Okay, so now we have some, this is lean ground turkey meat. And we cooked it with a little bit of this taco seasoning, the low sodium one from Walmart. About two teaspoons, you say? Oh, a little more. A little more. So like a heap or two teaspoons, I'd say, of the low sodium. And this is four ounces. I'm going to divide it between. We cooked a pound all together, but four ounces divided between both our dinners. Yeah, and the rest we're going to save for other dinners. So I'm basically just going to divide this between the four pizzas. Now I'm going to do the cheese. This is 60 grams of shredded cheese, and it is literally just regular marble cheese. I'm gonna divide this between the four muffins. Okay, make sure everyone gets an even there. Okay, now for toppings, I have two tablespoons of sliced black olives, a quarter cup of diced tomato, and two tablespoons of green onion. And I'm just going to divide evenly the toppings between all the pizzas. All right, these are ready to go. Let's carefully put these in here. Single layer down. I preheated the air fryer to 400 and I'm gonna cook these for five minutes. Experiment in the oven, bud, or air fryer. <laughs> While those are cooking, I'm going to mix up this. This is the Southwest salad. The It's called Your Fresh Market. It's from Walmart. It's 100 cows a cup, and that's why we love this. And it's also really tasty. And I'm gonna split this between me and Sass. It works out about a cup and a half per serving. So I'm just gonna dump the chopped salad in there, and then... You get a bunch of cool stuff, like you get some cheese, dressing, and some, um, uh, what are these things? Tortilla. Yeah. So let's put that in there. Put the cheese around it. And you put your dressing. Okay, squint that in there. Oh, you baby muffin. Get all your drinks. Oops. Get some on your hands. <laughs> there you go like this. Okay. Mix I'll this. Edit that out. No one's gonna see it. <laughs> Everyone wants it in. It's cute. You're gonna leave it in because it's cute. We all know it. We all do. <laughs> Alright, mix that up and then I'll divide it between the two bowl of roomies. Okay, we have measured this out, bud. Got to, yeah, we may as well just do this for a cup. Let's do a cup here. Scoop this, scoop it, scoop it, Bowie. <laughs> okay, yep, put a cup in there. And now, a halfer. Yep, here she is. It's fun living with you. <laughs> it's an adventure every day for him, I'm sure. <laughs> There we are. Is it, look at how much you get, and it's really tasty. Come on, get all those tortilla chips. You don't want to miss out on those. There we is. Okay, now we're waiting for the pizzas. Come on, pizzas. Come on, pizzas. <laughs> okay, they are done. Let's see. Um, I'm kind of scared, so did they turn out? Let's see. Hey, wow! Not bad. Pretty darn fantastic. Now the ch the the question is, can I scoop these out? The smell is fantastic. Oh, they do smell good. I'm gonna have two taco pizzas and one and a half cups of the Southwest salad. So for all of this, it's plus a bottle of water, 577 cals. And these are so loaded. I can't wait to have a bite of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're real thick and heavy. They are. 
Oh my. Mm. It is, it's like, it's like a taco dip and a pizza and a taco 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 all in one. Mm. Oh, you're gonna love these then. Mm. Dessert is two of these great value caramel Greek yogurt smoothie bars. This is what they look like, and they literally taste like a caramel fudgesicle. And then I'm also having a Pepsi Zero. So well, I gotta take a bite. 200 calories for two of these. They have caramel in them. Mmm, they're so good. So, enjoying these, chilling with my sasseruni. And I will see you back in a bit for the last meal of the day. And it's a cute one. <laughs> Look at that pour in action, bud. Whoa. Whoa, isn't that sweet? <laughs> <laughs> this is my most sweetest meal of the day. Cereal and milk. But not just any cereal. I'm having the Vector Protein Cereal, the Apple Cinnamon Crunch, a heaping cup full of that with three quarters of a cup of the 0% Fair Life milk, cause it's protein milk, so you get extra protein. So for this entire bowl with the milk and everything, it's 236 cows for, I'm gonna feel smart with my glasses and read my notes. And your Harry Potter. Again. Yeah, look at me, I'm a Hogwarts girl. See that? Total calories for the day, 1887, 62 grams of fat, 216 grams of carbs, and 126 grams of protein. Yeah! So, weight loss should never be a punishment. If you're not having fun, you're not getting it done. And what I mean by that, what I always say, if you don't like what you're doing, you're not gonna stick to it. And these are sustainable weight loss meals because they're super tasty, they're super quick and easy, because if Everything's complicated, it takes too long. I'm not gonna stick to it. If I don't like what I'm eating, I'm not gonna stick to it. If it's not high volume and high protein, it don't keep me full, I'm not gonna stick to it. Watch this vid and this vid for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips, cause what are we sassy? We're real friends and lose weight in the real world. We love it every day, we wake up and go, yeah, we're having all these great meals, it's so exciting. So now, because I'm a Hogwarts girl, I'm gonna peace out of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for your support. I love you and I'll catch you in the next big cuter room. And you know how I'm peacing out of here? With my magical, invisible, magic wand, with dirty oblivion song. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think it means like, let stuff fly in the air in Harry Potter land. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> okay. You eat your cereal and then uh, it's time for bed. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. <laughs>